Well, I wanted to thank you for representing me in this case. No problem, even though I don't like you at all. Which isn't going to make the divorce that I'm getting from you that you're representing me on any easier. Which reminds me, as your lawyer, I have to advise you not to have me represent you since I'm the one you're actually going to court against. I suppose you're right. Fate is a cruel snake with bitter herbs and spices. Yes. Um, I overheard that she's single, and I just wanted to let her know that I'm rich. Really? You're a millionaire? No, I'm Richard. Um... Does Mama like what she sees? Yes, I do believe she does. Okay, that's where I draw the line. Step into my office. Take that! Okay, but you must take this! All right, but only in exchange for two of these! I'll take those and raise you this! You don't have change for three of these, do you? No, I don't, but does my butt look big in these? Not as big as it will look after that! Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to complete the fight without weapons. You mean a battle of wits? Close. We fight with jazz. Bring it on, Daddy-o. Skip bop diddly doodly doo bow Stack the deep zip zap doo Honk a doodly honky doodly googly gee A geek got bottle of boo schooly goo Stack bop dee bop dee bop dee bop dee Wee ah pooby doo bee ba doodly bee ba Zip 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 Oh, this is horrible. I think it's alternative. Yeah, it's an alternative to good. And this kind of movie is a career killer, Brendan. Hey, you'll get no argument from me. I think it's crap a -roo. Okay, fine, I agree. It's the worst film ever. How do we fix it? Burn it. No, no, no. Um, I don't know. Our movies have hit a brick wall. Yeah. Maybe we should take a break and live a little. Let some things happen to each other and then regroup. You guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. All right, fine. So we'll take a hiatus. No, 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 no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wait, what's a hiatus? Uh, that's basically what you described. Oh. oh. Well, then yes, then we'll take a hiatus. Can we still burn it? All right, class, just say here when I call your name. Adelberg? Ken Adelberg? No? Okay. Uh, Beaumont. Mr. or Ms. Beaumont? Beaumont? No. All right. Uh, Henderson? No. All right, you know what? I'm just going to save some time. Uh, what's your name, sir? Bauer. Bauer. Uh, you're not on my list. Are you in this class? What class is this? Creative writing. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Uh, I guess I'll go. No, don't leave. Stay. Just stay. Don't move. All right. What are your names? Wait, don't tell me. I don't want to find out that you're not in my class either. Forget roll call. Okay. Anything else? Okay, let's take a break. Uh, you know, we got a uh, four-day vacation coming up. Uh, yes, McGurk. I'm, I'm aware of that. I have a school calendar, too. So what are you going to do with your time off? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, probably uh, correct tests. Uh, probably do a little reading. My God, you're boring. You know, I asked myself the same question. What am I going to do, you know, with my vacation time? Hmm. And then I saw this. Cancun, my friend. I'm going to Cancun. Mexico. Hmm. Interesting. What did you say? I said interesting. No, before that. Hmm. No, before hmm. Mexico? Right. It's Mexico. I thought I was an idiot. No, they like to pronounce it Mexico. Who likes to pronounce it Mexico? The Mexicans. Well, I'll tell you something, Lynch. I'm going to Mexico. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to Mexico. Right. How about that? Fine. You pronounce it however you wish, but it is Mexico. Hmm. So you're interested in going with me? or uh, you know? Huh. Well, you know, you and I might not be compatible travel companions. So? Who cares? Lynch, here's the deal. There's a discounted group rate. It would be crazy not to take advantage of it. Uh, I don't know, McGurk. I can't answer right now. Look, How's that? Think about it. Read the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wait too long, though, amigo. That's Spanish. Mm -hmm. Not the whole sentence, just the amigo. Right. So what have you been doing so far during the hiatus? Um, I did some moping in the living room, mm -hmm. and then I got bored of that, so I moped in the kitchen. Did you ever try moping in the guest bedroom? No. Um, how is it? Great place to mope. I gotta try that. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. Um, I was thinking about lurking. I was thinking about lurking tomorrow. I can't sit around moping all day. No. Oh, wait, hold on. I got call waiting. Okay. Shut up! Hold on! Brendan? Yeah? Dwayne. Uh, hey, I need you to tape us rehearsing so we can work on some dance moves. Um... Shut up, guys! Well, you know, I don't think I can help right now because I'm busy with my hiatus. Oh, shucks. Um, what's hiatus? It's complicated, Dwayne, but, you know, I got Melissa on the other line, so, uh... Oh, okay. Um, don't hang up. 
Hey. Hi, who was that? Uh, Dwayne. He wants me to do a thing, but I said no. What were we talking about? How we have nothing to do. Oh, right. Hello? A- Adelbert? Yeah? Ken Adelbert? Speaking. Uh, hi, it's Paula Small, your creative writing teacher. Oh, hello. Yeah. How you get my number? It, uh, it's on the sign-up sheet here. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was just calling um, to see if you were ever going to, you know, show up to class again. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you, but no. N- I'm finished with class. I don't take that class no more. Yeah, really? Well, w- were you going to tell me, or was I just supposed to, you I'm know... I'm sorry, Paula, I have to cut you off. My wife is giving me the wrap-up signal on the phone. Here's the thing. Quitting my class is not going to make you a better writer. Well... Yeah, maybe it will, but nobody likes a quitter, and that's a fact. Well, Paula, I love to sit on chat all day. But you know, Ken, you're not going to get a refund either, so that's just money wasted down the toilet. That's actually funny you mention that, Paula, because I go ahead and refund. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Brendan? Mm, I'm being creative. Brendan, that's not a coloring book. It isn't? No. There's no shapes. It's just words. I'm coloring the words. Is that one of my books, Brendan? Uh, I think it might be. Which of my books are you coloring the words in? It's called Disciplining Your Children. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mom, I forgot to tell you. Um, one of your students called, and um, really? I did not write down his name, but he uh, said um, thank you for teaching him. and uh, He wants the homework? He wishes you luck in the future, and he will probably never see you again. When did he call? Um, an hour, two hours. Uh-huh. Did you look for me? I did look for you, but I could not find you. I was here, Brendan. But I looked. Did you look in the kitchen? No. Well, where did you look? I looked everywhere but the kitchen. I don't know. Everywhere Why but didn't the I kitchen. think the kitchen? Okay, Brendan, you know what? This is very, very important. The next time a student calls, mm-hmm. what you need to do is you need to come and find me. Okay. Perhaps, maybe, crazily, in the kitchen. Right. Where I usually spend my time. I don't know why I didn't look there. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. so weird. That... Probably too busy. Yeah. <clears throat> Brendan, what are you doing <clears throat> with the scissors? Oh, I guess I'm making my pants into cutoffs. Hmm. Shorts? Yeah, or like Daisy Dukes. Okay, you know what? We need to find something for you to do. Oh. You know, to busy your little hands. Right. Right? What do we do? Um. Ice cream. You know what, Brendan? I think you need to get outside. Okay. Out of the house. All right. Shoot. I'm leaving. Okay. All right. Well, I found my butt, so I bought some bad shoes. Cut. Put them on my feet, put them to some good use. Well, I'm 15 years old and I don't like being told what to do. Dwayne, watch the others because you're doing something that I think you're making up on the spot. Am I right? I don't know. Okay, did you stretch? Nope. Well, let's stretch then. Mm, I am. That's not stretching. Mm, I am. That, no, that's not stretching. Hold on, this, this stretching. No, that looks like it hurts. Hey, I'm stretching. Hey. You don't need to stretch. Hi. 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 So they're slow, but they'll get it. I mean, they're, you know. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, no, I um, I was just, uh, I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, they needed a choreographer, so I offered. It's so cool, because you guys are actually doing real dancing. It's not like, because most girls our age, you know, are like, you know, they're all stupid ballerinas and stuff, so. Hmm. Well, I take ballet. That, But that didn't mean, like, stupid, like, dumb. I meant it like, you know, it's, you know. <clears throat> so what do you do here? Um. Oh, you know, technically, I shouldn't even be here because I'm on hiatus, because I'm a filmmaker. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I'm Brendan. Hi. Hi. Well, I gotta get going. My mom's picking me up. Okay. Awesome. Did you just say awesome? Hmm? No. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. okay. I'll see you around. Okay. Awesome. Dear Diary, ever since I've been on hiatus, my life's been great. I'm playing for the first time and making new friends. I realize now what's been missing from my life. Fun. Love. Jason. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Gary, 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 you know what I mean? I'm gonna fall. Jason, catch us. You know what, Brendan, you're being a baby. You could ask. I, you know, I'll be honest. I don't think I can go to Cancun right now. You can go to Cancun. We're on friendly terms with Mexico, Brendan. Oh. All right? They let us in. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I don't think my mom was going to let me go with my soccer coach to Mexico. Well, all I you have to do is ask. I'm, a... A gu- I'm a guardian. Well, what would you say to my mom? All right. You approach me. I'll be your mom. You be you. Okay. Mom, can I go to Cancun, please? With who? Uh, with Coach McGurk. Sure. See? All you okay. got to do is ask. Yeah. That's the problem with this country. Nobody asks. Right. Look, I'm going to answer right now. I would love to, but sorry, and I can't. 
I take traveling very seriously, and I would like to have you, my travel companion, participate in some preliminary travel exercises, including a crash course in Mexican history and rudimentary Spanish. Hmm. No. Okay, well then, uh, hasta mañana, compadre. What does that mean? That means goodbye forever. Really? Well, no, but I'm, I'm exaggerating, but if, look, if... Lynch, let me interrupt you. Shut up. You are going with me to Mexico, to Cancun, so I can get a better rate. Look, if you want me to go with you on this vacation to Cancun, then you're going to have to meet me here after school. That's it. And bring a pencil. Hold my calls, Juliet, okay? And when I say hold my calls, what I really mean is put the caller on hold. Mr. Lindenson, I, you know what? I'm glad you wanted to see me because actually I wanted Paula, to... Paula, uh-huh. over the last three fiscal years, I would say I have only held my calls on a half dozen occasions, perhaps less. That's how rare it is. Just so you know. Okay. Good! All right, this is going very smoothly so far. Now. Look, um, Mr. Lindenson, I know the dropout rate in my class is high, but you know what? I really wouldn't worry about that because... Worry? I am a man who has no time for worrying about things. Conversely, I don't think you should worry about something as minuscule as students dropping out. Right, yeah, that's exactly... However, I am afraid that you're fired. Whoa, wait, I'm fired? Yes, Paula, you're fired. I hate to say it again, but why not? The school is dealing with a series of budget cuts, and I'm afraid your class was put up on a chopping block. Really? Hey, let's not make this about you and the firing thing. Uh, there's a lot of people in the same boat as you, Paula. You know Mrs. Gardner, the bagpipe lady? Yeah. Gonski. Same with, uh, how about Mr. And you know Mr. French? Uh-huh. Budget cuts. What do you do? Nothing worse than letting someone go, Paula. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, this is effective when? Uh, Paula, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. It's effective now. You're gone. It's not a firing that takes place at some future time. You're going to have to clean out your desk immediately, immediately post-haste. I don't have a desk. Well, then, could you possibly clean the windows at least? Okay, bad joke, bad joke. Well, you know, not a bad joke, but a bad time for jokes. So, um, you're sure you don't need me to tape today? Yep. Okay, you guys ready to work? You've been practicing? Well, you know, maybe I could stick around and help out with other stuff or something? Mm, no thanks. Really? Because I could just be helpful as an audience member, you know, extra pair of ears, just, you know? Mm -mm. You know? Nope. Or, you know, maybe I could jam with you guys. Normally I wouldn't suggest that, but I have been practicing on this. And I uh, feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, listen to this. Is it a high note? Ow. Oh. <sighs> I'm okay. Uh, mm. oh. oh, uh, that's not mine. That's uh, my mom's shoe. Let me have that. <clears throat> uh, I'm so sorry. You're sure there's nothing I can do to help out? You want to be my roadie? Sure. Um, what is that? Oh, yeah, you're such a pretty girl. Yeah, you are. Mm. And you like to spin and to twirl. When you asked me to plug your guitar in, this is what I thought you meant. And, you know, I knew it didn't fit, so I had to use a hammer. And somewhere in the middle, I thought to myself, this is totally going to electrocute you. And, you know, I wanted to tell you, but I got sidetracked trying to fix those stage lights. That wasn't even the one I was working on. But look, I wouldn't worry, Dwayne, because being electrocuted <laughs> never happens twice. Um, no, but still, it's a sign of good luck. Wait, no, it isn't. That's if a butterfly lands on you. Uh, Dwayne, I am so sorry. Okay, guys, do it again. Hey, hello again. Hi. Hi. What is your name, anyway? Cynthia. Cynthia. Oh, that's cool. I'm, uh, I'm Brendan. Hey, guys. Guys. Yeah, it's not that flashy, but I might change it for showbiz, Something's you know. I was off. thinking, like, uh, Nathan or the cliff. No, with the left leg. You know, uh, now that I've got your attention. I'm sorry, one second. Uh, guys, oh. what is that? 
I was, you know, wondering if you're not busy. Do it like um, I showed you yesterday, remember? Maybe you and I could do something sometime, and uh, I've got a pretty cool sandbox. Good! That's much better. And that's where I'll be if you need me, because you don't seem to be listening at all. Yes, guys, watch Dwayne. He's doing it right. Anyway, uh, like I was saying... Look, um, I gotta get back to work, Nathan. Brendan. Cynthia. Cher. Dwayne! That was amazing. Awesome. Did you just say awesome? <laughs> no. Me amo, senor Lynch. Como te llama? Hmm? Como te llama? Te llama Senor McGurk. Senor Juan McGurk. Oh, I hate this, Lynch. Verdad. Let's begin. Como trabaja? Eh, Senor McGurk? See, si, what is your job? All right, great. And what is your job? What, are you asking me what my job is? Yes, in fact, como trabaja? Oh, I'm a soccer coach. Mm. In Espanol, por favor. What? We speak Spanish in this class, Senor McGurk. Tu eres el profesor de soccer. Verdad. Now, yo tengo un cacahuerte. <sighs> Repite. Yo tengo un cacahuerte. Muy bien. <laughs> that means I have a peanut. Oh, that's... Now, repeat after me. Yo tengo un... Wait, wait. How did we go from what's your job to I have a peanut? Okay, yo tengo right. un puerco en mi nariz. What does that mean? That means I have a pig in my nose. What is going on in Mexico? I gotta tell you, from my end, I feel bad about you being fired. I gotta tell you that. Well, don't. No, no. Paula, no. That's unacceptable. Uh -huh. And I want you to know that it wasn't my fault you were let go. Though technically, I did give your name to the board when they asked me who they should fire. Uh -huh. Your name just leapt to mind. It was like a word association thing. Who should I fire? Paula. I'm sorry, why are you calling? Well, let's just call this a friendly post letting go. <laughs> How's it going with you, Paula, in your new life? No, okay, no, it's not that. It's more of a, hey, uh -huh. don't take being fired the wrong way and file a lawsuit kind of a thing. You know? Look, you... Just a good old-fashioned, please don't sue us, and what have you been doing with your free time kind of a call. You know what? I gotta go. No, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing here? You hung up on me. So? Well, I, I, I thought you were gonna do something drastic. What are you talking about? It happens, Paula. People get fired, and then they try to... You know. And I don't want that to happen, Paula. Oh... No, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to myself. You? No. I meant me. I thought you were going to, you know, whack me. Wh I thought you were going to deep six me. Are you nuts? Of course not. Oh, okay, good. I was very nervous. So, for the record, no? No. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be offended, Paula. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, look, I, I feel bad, and I, I, I bought you a gift. I hope you like wine. I do. Packaged in boxes. So, what's all uh, about a Paula Smaller? What makes her tick? What's, uh, what's dry, what's behind, what's under the hood? I'm home! Hi, I found one of your shoes, Mom. Oh, I was looking for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, hello! Hi. Hmm. Now, look at you! <clears throat> yeah. What an adorably perfect little young lady. Uh, well, I'm not so little. Brendan, this is Arnold Lindenson. Oh. The man who fired me? Oh. I can't believe the wine went so quickly. Is there, is there a leak? <clears throat> Actually, if you might excuse me, I think I need to use the facilities. Yeah, um, follow me. Okay, whoa, hey, whoa, woo! Okay, I should get out of the bathroom and you should just go. Hey, it's um, up to you. Yeah. Hey, that's your, that's your call! <laughs> I'll to be each a... his own, young woman! Um, <laughs> Hey, let's play more. Yeah, it's fun. Playing is fun. Yeah, it is. Don't quit out on us. Get up. Come on, Jason. <laughs> we're going to be better if we can just play forever. No more! So, Brendan, whatever happened to the fancy dancy girl? Uh, nothing. Uh, really? Yeah. You know, the only good thing that came out of it was that it made me want to get back to work. I hear that. Well, guys, hiatus is over. We're fresh. We're focused. Let's get to work. Let's do it. You bop piggly goodly da. Sip zappily whippily wah. Doodly 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 da. Huh. This still sucks. Yeah. Yeah. We somehow got worse. 
you know what, guys? No more hiatuses ever again, okay? Squick, squack, squeakily agree. <laughs> be a little tight around here until I get another job, Brendan, but you know what? I think we're going to be fine. Okay. Good then. Good. Could you do me a favor and just uh, take out the recycling when you leave? Show enough. Great. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. Everything's great. <laughs> okay. Hey, Nathan. Uh, Brendan. Um, so where have you been? I mean, you haven't been coming over to Dwayne's at all and electrocuting anyone lately. Uh, um, I've been electrocuting people, just not there. Uh, you know, I've been busy. Oh. So what, you came all the way over here to tell me that? Is yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Also, I wanted to tell you that I'm moving, and I'll probably never see you again. <clears throat> uh, really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wanted to know if oh. that offer was still open to hang out sometime. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think you were listening when I asked you. <laughs> well, I was. Huh. Well, then what's my name? The Cliff. Oh, you were listening. Lynch, come here. Lynch. Please. That's a big hat you have there. Excuse me. Look at that hat. It's round. Lynch, shut up. McGurk! Wait, no, get Lynch, get off Buddy. of it. Buddy! Lynch, you're drunk. I'm gonna get you back to the hotel oh. if I can find it. Look at those hats. Excuse me, Mexican. See? I'm trying to find my hotel. Me llamo hotel. No, 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 no comprende. What, what do you mean, no comprende? Can you give me directions? Uh, to no me? English. Uh, McGurk, look at the book. Lynch, you know Spanish. Uh, no comprende. You're the one who taught me. Ask him where a hotel is. Where's the hotel? No, it's Spanish, Lynch. Where the... Lynch, how do you say where is the hotel? Hotel. Donde esta la hotel that we were staying at? Well, I found five bucks, so I bought some fancy shoes. Could I put them on my feet, put them to some good use? When I'm 50 years old and I don't like being told what to do.